Oh, look, it's working. So, uh, guess what? We are now filming with the GoPro 6 Black, man. And uh, just jumped back on the interstate, and boy, we got something cool in front of us. And uh, he's not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. It's just going to take just a moment to tell y'all what we're getting ready to go do. Well, we're not going to tell you where we're going. We're going to tell you where we're at when we get there. But we are, well, we still we're going, right? There it is. Well, we are in that's right. So anyway, I don't know how I'm going to end that video on my phone to go with this video. I don't know how to do that. I don't know what I'm doing yet, y'all, with editing. So, you got to put that uh, half of the phone down there. Oh, I don't have to read up on that. Yeah. All right, so anyway, we're going to click over here. I can't just click. I'm going to have to get, I'm gonna have to turn this thing around. Anyway, we're about to get off the interstate up here, headed to our next location to do the feed and seed store and the uh, home. What do they call it? Uh, I know, you weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> yeah, so before. I didn't tell them where we were coming. Yeah, you did that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Anyway, I'm on, we're going to do a little short video of the country roads. We're going to be taking the country back roads going to where we're going. And because uh, it's beautiful. Everything is draining up down here on the coast, on the uh, Mississippi Gulf Coast. Everything's just looking gorgeous. So. Uh, without further ado. Pretty dang old video. <laughs> well, it looks far away here, so I don't know. Oh, man. Y'all see that thing? Isn't that cool? Now, that's a toy. That's a toy, y'all. But y'all see the real Okay, y'all. Sorry about the wind. I do not have a whisker biscuit thingy, whatever that uh, that stops the wind from whooping like it does. So, what y'all are looking at right here is this is America. Yes, we're in America. You can always depend on Rick. Get some good comments in. So what we have right here, what you're looking at right here, is my mamma and papa maggards. This used to be their problem, right? My mamma, after my papa uh, passed away, uh, she sold the property. So basically from where that, that fence is, on the far side of it, and a long way back, this building, none of this stuff used to be here. I don't even know what all of this stuff is. But where I'm standing at, well actually you can see the foundation for my mama and papa's house. Oh look. Blackberries. Nami. Mmm, they're everywhere. That right there is the foundation for my mama and papa's house. That's what's left of my childhood. Right there. Y'all see that uh, that big live oak back there? Behind this one? The outhouse used to be right there. Yep, they did not have plumbing. That ground's fully fertilized. All of this back here, that pond used to not be there. You can see where they dug up that pond. There's the uh, spoils from that pond right there. But uh, back here, Rick's throwing blackberries at me, y'all. Um, all of this right here used to be woods right behind the house. 
the shed where they used to keep their canned goods at was right here behind the house. Okay. There used to be a big giant pear tree right here. For whatever reason, whenever they bought this or whenever they, uh, the people that own this property now, they decided that it was a good idea to cut that pear tree down. That's never a good idea. Back there where this building sits at, all of that used to be my papa's uh, gardens back there. This road right here used to be a road, but it was a it was a much it was not paved like this. This was just a dirt road going back to the pea patch and, and the gardens and whatnot. All of this used to be woods that me and my cousins, and my brother, we would all play in back over here. And it's been it's been cleared for the most part. This is actually what it used to look like without all the yokons and stuff like that. And Rick just got on video using the bathroom. Sorry about that, y'all. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you. This is part of uh, part of my family history, our family history. And uh, I miss that a lot. There's times, memories that are memories now. You can't go back and relive them, but you can remember them trying to remember them. Had a lot of good memories here. Wolf River is is Wolf River is back that way behind those buildings. We used to we used to take cane poles back there and go fishing. Here's the story. Every time we come this way from <laughs> here. All the way down Yep. We used to we used, we used to cane pole fish back there on Wolf River. Anyway, like I was saying, memories y'all, make them, cherish them. Don't give them up. Hold on to them as long as you can. And trespass on private property just to get the memory back. <laughs> when you got to. All right, y'all. Moving on. <laughs> That's her daddy in that picture, y'all. All right, so we're gonna go in here and start looking around. Let's show y'all what we got going on. Let's go this way, really. Start over here. How y'all doing? Say hey, YouTube. <laughs> so this is all of their, all of their stuff that they got going on here. All of these fruit trees. Look, hibiscus. What? What are we looking at? This? What is this? Let's look. Chinese lanterns. Lanterns. Chinese lanterns. Look how pretty standard red and yellow. Is this thing recording? Okay, yeah, we are recording. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, they got all kinds of stuff here, y'all. Pretty sure these are, yeah, these are hibiscus. Did y'all know that hibiscus flowers are edible? Did y'all know that, YouTube? YouTube, did you know that these things are yellow? You can, or yellow, these are red. 
They're edible. You can make jelly out of them and jams, all kind of stuff. So, look, all the citrus trees. Maybe you can help. Say hey, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> look, look at all these blueberry bushes. Mmm. They got them going on out here, y'all. What is this? Is that a vining black? Look at that. Okay, I'm bringing two of these home. I am bringing two of these home with me today. Yes, indeed. I don't know what Rick was doing. Look at that. That's cool. Isn't it pretty out here, y'all? Now look. What is this? What is this? These are Navajos, thornless blackberries. I've got a Navajo and a Cherokee, or a Comanche. Purple cabbage. Hey, one of my favorite. I have, I have, uh, I have a Navajo and I have a Comanche at the house that I have to get planted. They're much smaller than these. Yeah. Comanche and Navajo? You gotta have them too. Man, what are you talking about? Look, does that look familiar, y'all? I've got one of those. Oh. It's pretty though. You don't call them Indians, you don't matter than that. Actually, I don't know. Maybe they like to be called Indians now. I don't know. You gotta be so PC these days. Hey, so you're from Hawaii. That means you're native Hawaiian. Uh, if you're from Hawaii, you'd be native Hawaiian. It is now. It is now, Rick. Look at all of this. This is awesome, isn't it? They got a cool little water feature over here that I like a lot. And uh, it's really cool. It's right here. Look. Isn't that cool? I like that a lot. Really cool. This lady knows her business. She's helped me out quite a few times. Hang on, let's, let's go. Let's go over to the feed side real quick. Look, look they got all kind of feed and stuff over here, y'all. If y'all need it, anything, NT thing, got what you need. What's going on? What the hell, YouTube? <laughs> We're just showing, showing, showing y'all what's going on around here. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Anything y'all need, come over to Fazio's in Gulfport on Highway 53. Gulfport, Mississippi. All right, what's going on? Gulfport. Yes, Gulfport. Lyman? Hang on. Now this is a place. Yeah. What? Help us what? Say hey, YouTube. I'm <laughs> All right. That's a bellows. It's called a bellows. Yeah. So you remove this right here. Uh oh. I got, all right. Well, we're going to buy it anyway. That's what we came here for. <laughs> yeah, that's that's your bellows right there, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you. Say hey, you two. Hey, you tell me smoke you got? All right, I'm going to keep on going. So, they've got all of your garden supplies that you need. This is their seed section over here. So they've got the burpees. They have um, a wide selection of things that are come from growers all over the place. How you doing? So you can see they have a very wide selection. 
of just about anything you could possibly want. I don't break this place down I'm trying to get through here. Look. Where to get it. That's what I was trying to tell you. Look, they got bot farm stuff over here. This is more of your hydroponics and stuff like that. Cow mag. Okay. Bloom, bloom, boomerang, which is like for blooming. Uh, they got the holly tone stuff, plant tone. They got it all. They got it all. Rain catchment barrels. Big sacks of tough wheat. Corn, horse stuff, cattle stuff. I'm gonna break this place down. So, y'all, whenever I say this place is big and they have everything, I am not lying. They have everything that you could possibly want. And that's why it's so bad for me to come over here because I can get in a lot of trouble. Back in the day, I used to do a lot of this. This is the tack room where the saddles are at. Look, they've got English, Western. That's a pretty one. Studded out. Look, 38. That's pretty cool. So, they got it all. I could afford everything in here. Not that they're overpriced, because they're not overpriced. They are very reasonably priced. You don't pay out the nose for the stuff that they carry here. But you do pay for it because it's quality. Everything here is quality. They do not sell garbage. So, here's the clothing section. Got all the boots you could possibly want. Say hey, YouTube. Got everything you want. So, hats. If y'all are in this area ever on Highway 53, Lyman, right? Lyman or Gulfport? Gulfport. Okay. So, Gulfport, not Lyman. You can come over here to Fazio's and get everything you need. I think I just walked through the cashier's area. Got the baby chicks. This is why Drew Lindsay can't come over here anymore. She's not allowed here. She's been essentially blackballed from Fazio's because of this right here. So this is highway on Highway 53. I don't know what the name of this place is. I've been wanting to stop in here and talk to somebody for a long time. But uh I don't, they ain't never here whenever, uh, and yes, we're trespassing again, y'all. <laughs> we're not going to trespass too much. We're not going to go over there and just start digging up this stuff. But I, I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's bees flying around all over the place. Honey bees everywhere. These are obviously commercial, commercial, uh, a commercial apiary. And they do the traveling thing and you know, orchards, making their beehives, orchards, all kind of stuff. Uh, so, this ain't too far from old 628 Dirt Roosters uh, place on YouTube. So, if y'all uh, y'all like watching bee videos and stuff like that, I highly suggest that y'all check out Mr. Ed. At, uh, oh, shoot, what's his page name? Well, if you, I can't think can't think of his page name now, but if you get on uh, YouTube and look, look up 628 Dirt Rooster, I don't know if that, man, that wind's bad, y'all. Check out 628 Dirt Rooster on YouTube, and then uh, you'll see some videos with him and Mr. Ed. He's the, uh, he's the, the B-man for the, uh, 
to the, I think it's a monastery over in Louisiana. And uh, man, you talk about a fellow with an infectious laugh. That guy is absolutely hilarious. Uh, if you're in a bad mood, watch one of his videos because he will make you laugh. There's no doubt about it. Out of here because technically we are trespassing right now, but not by much. We're just standing out here by the road, walking around looking at stuff. And, uh, look, they've got those. Uh, I don't know if that's honey, if that's honey in those IBC containers or not. Probably is. That's a lot of honey. It's a lot of honey, honey. So, uh, we're gonna go on to the next clip. Go do some bee stuff of our own. All right, y'all. So uh, we are at a location here in Ocean Springs where 628 Dirt Rooster came and did a swarm removal out of that tree right there. And it used to be whenever he came and did that swarm removal, there was a nuke box, a nuke swarm trap hanging on the back side of that fence right there. So I talked to him yesterday and he said, and I asked him, I said, man, there's, a, there's another nuke trap over here at this location. I'm pretty sure it's not yours because you would not hang a nuke trap that flops in the wind like that. Y'all, don't do this. You're not gonna catch bees in this. This is an unstable location. Honey bees do not, they will, they might check this out, but they ain't gonna get in it. I've watched enough videos to know that this is not the right way to do it. And yeah, I don't know if they got any, I don't know if they have anything in there. I don't see anything in there. As far as, no, I can see daylight through it. No Q-tip, no Q-tip in there, so there's no swarm attracted. So let's bring you around here. This first time my brother Rick's been over here. I'll show y'all where these bees are at. Look, right there. Now I'm gonna stand off to the side because I'm wearing a dark colored shirt. And I don't want to get stung. Let's see. All right, check this out. So once I get a close up of the bees, you see the pollen. Get stoned standing right in the middle of their flight path. There it is. Yeah, there's a pollen. Yep, there's a pollen laden uh, honeybee. There's another one going right in. Zoom in. Zoom in. So, no, I can't zoom. I don't think I can. I don't think I can zoom. Is that cool, y'all? Look at that. So <laughs> that guard bee was that guard bee was looking at me. She's like, okay, getting ready to sting your butt. You better better get on. I don't know. I don't want to. Watch out! You just got bumped. Oh. I don't know who's who's. Nuke trap this is. I would love to have I would love to set one over here though. But they've already got one here. Now, if you're watching this video and you are the one that has set the swamp trap over here, let me know. I'd like to talk to you. Figure out uh and, you know just no for, for no in particular reason, but you know, maybe you could let me come over here and set a trap too. I don't know. I don't know if this property belongs to you or not. And, and the owner of the property is the one who has set them. Hey, gentlemen, I keep walking up on... I thought Rick was going over to look at something cool. No, he's just over there using the bathroom. He 
whips. Anyway, we're going to take care of Rick's bees right now, so we'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. So we're back over here at the Sellers family homestead. Pork chops coming up and talk to my leg and uh, nudge me. Y'all, this pig's out of control. It's a good pig. So Rick's got his, uh, well, Rick, I'm gonna let you talk to him. Why don't you tell him what you're doing? Speak up. First time I picked open the pie from uh, pie box. Put it in by the beginning of the month, so you gotta take away the feeder. Um, I'm gonna take out the hot. See how it's going for right now. I may have been like Smoking a little bit. So we already got the smoker going. And then all we'd use for the smoker is uh, pine straw and oak leaves, y'all. Don't go spending a bunch of money on burlap and stuff like that at the store. Let me get out of the flight path here. Pork chop, leave me alone. Ow! Pork chop! Bite me. Stop it. Pork chop. Seriously, dude. Pork chop. Stop it. You're gonna make me smell like a pig. Yeah, smoke. Throw a little smoke up in there. Got some combs coming off. They started building comb in between. So they're already building honey. Some honey stores. That's enough smoke, man. That's good. Pork chop. You're making this video almost impossible to do, my friend. Stop it. All right, so Rick, you gotta get that uh, the queen box out of there, right? Okay. I'm gonna stand up, because pork chops aggravate the tar out of me. You gotta move today. Slow, methodical. Try not to disturb as much as possible. And, I mean, this is... You gotta do it. Yeah. They've cross-combed, y'all. What has happened? They've started cross combing. This is not going to be an easy thing to do. You got to do it. You got to pull it out, Rick. Go ahead, pull it out. You got to pull it out and break off the cross comb. Or you could pull these outside ones out like you was doing. Go from there. I wasn't too happy. Set this over here. Mm. That's good honey. I'm gonna set that over there. I'm gonna take that over to my swarm trap. Yeah, all this cross comb's gotta be taken off. Here, let me work the bellows. You just work the hive. Let me work the bellows. You work the hive. They're good. Go ahead. They're calm, man. They're not doing anything. Pull that comb out. Want to fail? Got to see the queens on here. I doubt she is on here. She'd probably be on the brood comb. I'm not seeing the queen. 
see some drones. This is almost impossible to do with pork chop. Stop it, son. Make sure the queen's not in here. It's real soft comb. Make sure she's not on the bottom. Y'all, sorry for the shaky video, but a pig is nudging me on my bottom side. I'm gonna stand up. They don't like that. Don't do that. Come on. Got yeah, my battery light right there. Okay, 29% left. Need to look and see if that queen's over there, Rick. On top of that uh, top bar, or that, uh, whatever that thing's called. Y'all, we're beginning beekeepers. We don't really know much of what we're doing. So, this is all new to us. See her in here. I do not see her either. She's not on this side. Is that my, is that Yeah. They'll come over here. Huh? They'll come over here. They're not. Well, I need a... Got a hive beetle. Yeah. Okay. Kill it. Kill it. Don't let it go. Did you kill it? Uh, no. Hey, do me a favor. Do it short, long swipes, don't pull. There you go. Chloe, go. You're gonna get stung in the face. Go on. Get. All right, let me have that. Where's your, uh, hot, where's your, uh, yeah. I'm taking some of this stuff back. I'm actually gonna chew this. You want half of this? Yeah, a minute. Oh, that's so good. Here. I ain't even got nothing on. Here, try that. Mm. That's so good. Now, did you, uh, did you do everything you was wanting to do? We'll leave this off. All right, y'all, so what we, I don't even know why he put all of this stuff back in here. This all has to be taken out. I do not see a queen on this side. I bet she's gonna be over there by the brew column. And we're filling it out. I don't know where he put the queen box at, but the queen was shipped now. Mm hmm. Good stuff, y'all. Mm. Uh 
Oh, you got the queen boss out. There it is, laying on the ground, y'all. All right, so I'm going to take off this cross comb, the rest of this cross comb. Mm. Yeah. If y'all could only taste that. Mm. Mm -hmm. They smoke it up over here. It's smoking. So cross over here too. All of these hives are empty. Pull that out. Go ahead, pull it out, and we break off this cross comb. Brood. Mm. Yeah, sunglasses on. I can't see nothing. Oh yeah. No, that's pollen. There's pollen in there. See, I haven't seen no eggs. Seen eggs yet? Not yet. Don't. Hang on. There's nothing over here, I can tell you that. Okay, we got brood. And everything looks to be good. I don't see any foul brood. Foul, you know what foul brood is, right, Rick? It's where the, the larvae are standing straight up. So everything looks to be curled like it should be. Definitely got, uh, so we got some cat brood going on over here. I see a worker bee, I mean not a worker, a uh, drone. I have not seen the queen yet. Is she? To the guy in the red green color box. Look on this ball right here. I think that might be where she's at. She thinks she's covered up. Put your tools down and just hold on to this. Both hands. Look in the middle over there. No. Hey, don't hit me with it. No, you did. <laughs> My face down in here. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I think that they're just covering her up to keep her. That goes to the far, closest to you. This one goes. They're getting worked up. Yeah, they're starting to get a little irritated. Calm down here in just a minute. Yeah, let's go back inside. Yeah. Uh, Alright, now I think you want to try and have these things evenly spaced so that yep. they don't cross calm. Right.
Well, y'all, the hive is young, but it looks to be in good shape. There's brood. It's being built. We have a. I've only. This is the second. I hope y'all can see that. There's a hive beetle going down in there right there. Everything looks to be pretty good shape. I think. 15% battery. Battery. Yeah, open for suggestions, that's for sure. Yeah, guys. <clears throat> get on Sellers Family Homestead. They just created their website. Our website. They just created their uh, YouTube page, right? Sellers Family Homestead. So, I think Rick's going to try and get a introductory video or something. I think Joe Lindsay's uh, fiance is uh, working on getting a introduction video going. And uh, I got to help her do some editing on that. And if y'all would, please subscribe to them. If you've got any beekeeping knowledge and stuff like that. And give, you know, Rick some feedback on their page because they're gonna be starting to shoot the videos and stuff like that. And it won't be me, so, but, excuse me. They follow, uh, you know, they, they're gonna be tracking on me. And if y'all give any comments on my feed, you know, on my YouTube, on this video, I will relay that information to you, Rick, right? Because neither one of us know everything. Obviously, we are just getting started in this. This is something new to us. We love it. So what Rick is doing now is he's taking the feeder off and uh, that's so that they can stop being reliant on the feeder and start making their own stuff. Okay? So that's it. I'm about out of battery strength too. Got one bar left. I think I'm probably at 10% now. So appreciate y'all coming by the channel. I hope that y'all like this video. Uh, if you do, you know, if this is your first time coming, please subscribe. I got a lot of videos that are coming on more bee stuff, more, uh, well, more. All of my aquaponics stuff is coming. Hydroponics is coming. My garden stuff. And, uh, you know, just cool things that we do, okay? And, um, yeah, that's about it. So, like, subscribe, all of that kind of good fun stuff. And we hope to see y'all at the next video. See y'all soon. Beach Family out.